Hello, Hello. 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 Here's our target dialogue. You will have the opportunity to practice this conversation later on. So please listen carefully. Takahashi san, Kochira wa Sumis san desu. Sumis san wa ABC Foods no bengoshi desu. Hajime mashite, Sumis desu. Yoroshiku o negai shimasu. Hajime mashite, Nodomi Depart no Takahashi desu. Yoroshiku o negai shimasu. Takahashi san, Kochira wa Sumis san desu. スミスさんは ABC フーズの弁護士です。はじめまして、スミスです。よろしくお願いします。はじめまして、のぞみデパートの高橋です。よろしくお願いします。Here are the vocabulary and grammar notes that we are going to use in our target dialogue. The first word is さん、which means Mr., Mrs., Miss or Miss. Kuchira, this one, a very polite word that we refer to this person. Wa, particle that denotes the topic of a sentence. Des, or B. ABC Fuzo, ABC Foods, this is a fictitious company name. No, it stands for apostrophe S. Of or a particle indicating belonging or possession. Bengoshi, attorney or lawyer. Hajime mashite. How do you do? Yurushiko onigai shimas. Pleased to meet you. Nozomi Dipato, Nozomi Department Store. Dipato, Department Store. Here are the vocabulary and grammar notes. For number one, Takahashi Sang. Sang is a title of respect added to a person's name. So it cannot be used after one's own name. Sang may be used with both male and female, and with either surnames or given names. Kuchira wa sumisu sang des. Kuchira, this one, implies this person here. And it's a polite way of saying this person. It is used when introducing one person to another. Kuchira wa sumisu sang des. Watashi wa sumisu des. Especially in conversational Japanese, watashi means I is hardly ever. Used. Anata, you, is similarly avoided, especially when addressing superiors, in which case the person's surname followed by sang is used. Nozomi dipato no takahashi des. The particle no attaches to nouns. And the noun no combination modifies the word that comes after it. No expresses belonging or affiliation. Here it shows that Mr. Takahashi belongs to, in the sense that he works for, Nozomi Dipato Store or Department Store. Japanese customarily give their company name and position when being introduced. Again. Nozomi Dipato no Takahashi des. Nozomi Dipato no Takahashi des. 
Mr. Takahashi of Nozomi Department Store. Yurushiko onigashimasu. Yurushiko onigashimasu. This is a phrase used when being introduced. Yurushiko onigashimasu is usually combined with Hajime mashite. It is also used when taking one's leave after having asked a favor. Yurushiko means well and is a request for the other person's favorable considerations in the future. Yurushiko onigai shimasu. Yurushiko onigai shimasu. Now let's talk about the sentence construction. Let's observe the structure of Japanese word order. In English, we follow the SVO pattern or subject verb object. As in the example, I eat an apple. So we have subject I, verb it, and you have an apple is our object. In Japanese, we follow subject, object, verb structure. Uh, take a look on the example. Watashi wa ringo tabimasu. Watashi wa I, apple is the object, and verb to eat, okay, or tabimasu. Take a look on this placement of noun and the particle. Noun 1 plus wa, noun 2 plus this. Example, Grey-san wa bengoshi desu. Grey-san wa bengoshi desu. Mr. Grey is an attorney. Grey-san wa bengoshi desu. The particle wa, or what we call the topic marker. Wa, as for, follows noun one, singling it out as the topic of the sentence. Noun two is then identified, and the phrase is concluded with this. The topic is the person or thing that the sentence is about, and the topic is often the same as a subject, but not necessarily. Noun 1, wa. Noun 2, desu ka? Hai. Noun 1, wa. Noun 2, desu. And ie. Noun 1, and wa. Noun 2, de wa ja arimasen. Examples. Grey sang wa. Bengoshi desu ka? Is Mr. Gray an attorney? Hi. Bengoshi desu. Yes, he is an attorney. Or if it is not, then we say, Ie. Bengoshi de wa arimasen. No, he is not an attorney. Again, Gray san wa Bengoshi desu ka? Hi, bingo shi desu. Ie, bingo shi de wa arimasen. The particle ka, or the question marker. It is easy to make questions in Japanese. Simply place the particle ka at the end of the sentence. So there's no need to change in word order. Even when the question contains interrogatives like who, what, when, etc. Note that the intonation normally rises on ka. Example, desu ka? Gray san wa? Bengoshi desu ka? Is Mr. Gray an attorney? Gray san wa? Bengoshi desu ka? Hi, yeah. 
Hai is generally the same as yes. And ie is the same as no. Hai ie. Omission of the topic, noun 1. When it is obvious to the other person what the topic is, it generally it is generally omitted. Example, Watashi wa gray des. As for me, I'm gray. So instead of mentioning Watashi wa, you just go directly to your name. Uh, Watashi wa Dave des. So instead, I say Dave des or Dave des. But when it is necessary to make clear what the topic is, it is not omitted. Example, Kuchira wa Gray san des. This is Mr. Gray. Kuchira wa Gray san des. Often the topic is omitted in answers to questions. For example, Gray san wa Bingo shi desu ka? Is Mr. Gray an attorney? Hi, Bingo shi desu. Yes, he is an attorney. Ie. Bingo shide wa arimasen. No, he is not an attorney. Dewa, ja arimasen. Dewa arimasen or ja arimasen is the negative form of this. Ja is more informal than dewa. Otherwise, they are the same. The following summarizes the forms of this. This or is an affirmative form. The wa arimasen is not negative. And for the past form, this ta was negative. The wa arimasen this ta or was not. The wa ja arimasen. Now you have learned most of the vocabulary for this lesson. Let's now go back to our target dialogue for more practice. You may pause this video and practice with two of your classmates, acting the role of Sumisu and Takahashi. Takahashi-san, kochira wa Sumisu-san desu. Sumisu-san wa ABC Foods no bengoshi desu. Hajimemashite, Sumisu desu. よろしくお願いします。初めまして、のぞみデパートの高橋です。よろしくお願いします。高橋さん、こちらはスミスさんです。スミスさんは ABC フーズの弁護士です。初めまして、スミスです。よろしくお願いします。初めまして、のぞみ
14. Taijin. 1. Nihon. 2. Chungok. 3. Doits. 4. Inglis. 5. America. 6. Australia. 7. Tai. 8. Nihonjin. 9. Chungokjin. 10. Doitsjin. 11. Inglisjin. 12. Americajin. 13. Australiajin. 14. タイ人1弁護士2秘書3学生4エンジニア1弁護士2秘書3学生4エンジニア OK, thank you very much for Practicing the target dialogue. At this time, let us work on the exercises. Let's now apply what you have learned in our discussion. Let's do the exercises on making introductions. So, at the end of this activity, I'm sure you will learn how to introduce yourselves to others and as well talk about nationalities and occupations. To make our activity interactive, I will be calling your names. So get ready. Once you hear it, you may input your answers in our live comment in YouTube or in MS Teams. You can、uh, do so in our conversation. Thank you. So, Hajime Masho. Hajime Masho, let's begin. Now, let's work on exercise A state someone's nationality. Our example is Sumisu Sangwa, America Jindes. Sumisu Sangwa, America Jindes. Or Mr. Smith is an American. For number one, let's have Monica Sang. For number two, let's have Daniel Sang. For number three, let me have Majen Sang. And for number four, we'll have Maria Jeanette. Okay, Jeanette Sang. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of time to, to type your、um, answers in our conversation or in a live、uh, comment in YouTube or MS Teams. Go ahead. Did you get it right? For number one, Hufuman Sangwa, Duitsu Jin des. Brown Sangwa, Igiriso Jin des. Rin Sangwa, Chungoku Jin des. Takahashi Sangwa, Nihun Jin des. Remember this? As you introduce others about nationality. What about stating someone's occupation? Here is our example Sumisu Sangwa, Bingoshi des. Sumisu Sangwa, Bingoshi des. Okay, remember our vocabulary Bingoshi is an attorney or lawyer. Gakuse, student. Hishuk, secretary. 
and we have uh, surnames of our uh, main characters. We have Mr. Brown, Brown, Miss Lynn, Rin, and Mr. Hoffman, Hoffman. Okay, let's state someone's occupation. Let's call on uh, Justin Sung to answer number one. Okay, for number two, let's have Triksha Sung. Triksha Sung. For number three, uh, Jessica Sung. Okay, let's now check your answers. Did you get it right? Hufuman Sangwa, Ingenia Des. Brown Sangwa, Tissue Des. Rin Sangwa, Gakuse Des. Okay, that's great. Let's now work on exercise C. Ask and answer what someone's nationality is. For our additional vocabulary, we are going to use the particle that denotes question, which is ka. Ka. And we have hai. That would mean yes. And iye or no. Okay, let's take the example. Okay. Sumisu sangwa. America Jindeska Sumisu Sangwa America Jindeska Hi America Jindes Muichido Sumisu Sangwa America Jindeska Hi America Jindes Okay, let's do number one, two, three, and four. Okay, let's have Bernali Sang to work on number one, uh, Clares, Clares Ansang, uh, let, uh, to work on number two, Anthony Sang, number three, and number four, let's have Jan Allen Sang. Okay, we'll check your answers. Hofuman Sangwa, do we tsujin deska? Hi, do we tsujin? Number two, Brown Sangwa, inkiri tsujin deska? Hi, inkiri tsujin. Number three, Rin sang wa chungok jin desu ka? Hai. Chungok jin desu. 
Number four, Takahashi san wa Nihonjin desu ka? Hai, Nihonjin desu. Let's take exercise D. Ask and answer what someone's occupation is, as in this example. For letter A, Sumisu san wa Injinya desu ka? Again, using ka, it's a particle that denotes question. At this time, we are going to negate, okay, our answers or make it negative by using ie. Okay? Ie or no. Is Mr. Smith an engineer? No, he is a lawyer. Okay? So, Mrs. Sangwa, engineer desu ka? Ie, bingoshi desu. Okay, let's have the two exam two uh, activity here. Let's call on Winston Sang to work on number one. Winston Sang. And for number two, we'll have Marian Sang. Marian Sang. Okay, has everybody answered this uh, activity already? Uh, let's have number one. Brown san wa engineer desu ka? Ie, ishu desu. Rin san wa engineer desu ka? Ie, gakusei desu. Hi. Minasan, wakarimasu ka? Do you understand, guys? Wakarimasu ka? Let's have exercise E. Ask and answer whether someone is of one nationality or occupation or another. As in this example. Smith-san wa America jin desu ka? Inghirisu jin desu ka? America jin desu. For number one, let's have uh, Marian Sang. Are we done with Marian yet? Or Paula? Uh, let's have Paula. Paula Sang, number one. For number two, we'll have Maricel Sang. And for number three, Let's have Aaron Sang. Aaron Sang. Okay. Now let's uh, talk about your answers. For number one, Takahashi san wa Nihon jin desu ka? Shumoku jin desu ka? 
日本人です。No.2 ブラウンさんはイギリス人ですかドイツ人ですかイギリス人です。For number three, Hufu Man san wa Injinia deska Pingoshi deska Injinia des Hi, Mina san wakari maska wakari maska Okay. Let's proceed on the next exercise. Exercise F. Again, we have the vocabulary here. Anata. Anata or you. Okay. Your role is to respond to a self introduction. So make a dialogue following the pattern of the example, assuming the roles indicated in the parentheses. Okay. For example, Tatueba. Letter A, Sumisu and Anata. Hajime maste, ABC Fuzo no Sumisu des. Yurushiko onigashimas. Anata. Hajime maste, Burui Mutazu no Hofumun des. Yurushiko onigashimas. Okay, let's have number one and number two. Let's have、uh, Rika Sang. Rika Sang for number one. And for number two, Earl Philip Sang. Okay, will you please、uh, answer this、uh, exercise? Again, we have Mr. Smith. Okay, Mr. Smith is、uh, a given、um, statement. So, what you are to do is to work on anata, means you. Okay, let's have the first one. Let's check your answer again. Hajime maste. ABC Fuzu no Sumisu des. Yurushiko o n i g a s h i m a s Anata? はじめまして。ロンドン銀行のブラウンです。よろしくお願いします。For number two. はじめまして。ABC ブスのスミスです。よろしくお願いします。あなたはじめまして。ヌゾモディパートの Takahashi des. Yurushiko o n i g a s h i m a s Mina san, wakari m a s k a Do you have questions? Do you understand? Oh, let's proceed to the next exercise. Guys, if you have questions, You may type in your questions in our chat box or in our conversation. Here are additional vocabulary that we will use in the next dialogue Tokyo Daigaku or Tokyo University, Birurin Motazo, Berlin Motors, Rondon Ginko. Or Bank of London.
let's have exercise G. At this time, you will notice how the particle NO has been used. Again, NO indicates possession or belonging. So in this exercise, you are going to introduce people. Look at the illustrations and pretend you are B or person B. You are going to introduce A and C to each other as in the example. Kuchirawa Birurin Mutazuno Hofumans Sangdes Kuchirawa Evizi Vuzuno Sumisu Sangdes Moichido Kuchirawa Birurin Mutazuno Hufuman Sangdes Kuchirawa Evizi Vuzuno Sumisu Sangdes Exercise G Number one. Minasang, I want all of you to work on this. Let us see who will be able to answer this correctly. Let's do number one. Remember that you are going to introduce A and C to each other. Now, let us compare your answer to this. Number one. Kuchira wa rondon ginko no buraon san desu. Kuchira wa Tokyo daigaku no rin san desu. Minasan, wakarimasu ka? Hai, so desu. Okay, let's have number two.
Let's now compare your answer to this. ABC フーズのスミスです高橋さんをお願いしますはい ABC フーズのスミスです高橋さんをお願いしますはい、はい、どなたですか中村ですはいどうぞはい、どなたですか？中村です。はい、どうぞ。Let's talk about additional vocabulary. お is a particle. お願いします。Please or get me. おきつけ。Reception desk. Receptionist. Takahashi さんをお願いします。Use をお願いします。When asking a receptionist to summon somebody you want to see, お願いします is a very convenient phrase often used in making polite requests. どなた The basic word for who is dare, but どなた is more polite. はい、どうぞ。This expression is used when granting a visitor permission to enter a room or an office. It can also be used when handling over something that another person has asked for. はい、どうぞ。Wow, we have just finished our first lesson. I hope this has been useful to you. Don't forget to memorize vocabulary and the sentence patterns. For your assignment, I will be requesting you to perform the following. You are going to simulate the following conversations. Film your simulations and upload to our virtual classroom or in a link. Number one, introduce yourself to a classmate, then, introduce two classmates to each other. If you are in Japan, then introduce yourself to a Japanese person. State who you are and what your occupation is. Mina san, this has been a great day. I personally congratulate you for the job well done. Thank you for your wonderful participation to this activity. おめでとうございます。どうもありがとう。See you again in lesson two. はい。